I see Yone, so I go in on him, WQW. Ult, auto E, he dies, but then Yasuo flashes on me and I don't react with flash. But as he ults me, I want to flash over him because I know he's going to Q straight onto me. So I do that, WW, ult, auto E, profane. I take some tower shots, I see Kane, I'm like, oh no. But then I Q auto E with my shadow right there, I do a weird WQ. And then he ults me, so I'm like, oh, this is pretty bad, Alistair's here. I managed to get my ult off on Alistair's combo. Q auto E, ignite, auto the Yon again, he's dead. Katwina flashes on me, so I panic flash away as well. And I'm walking to bait him onto his dagger, I ult, and Twitch shows up, so I W away and I Q the Katarina, he uses Zonyas. I jump back onto the Twitch, who's on my shadows, and once so I ult him as he goes for the CS. He tries to Q, so I ult, auto E, Q behind me, WW, auto attack, he lives with 1 HP, and the goon squad shows up. And then I just Q, place W backwards, he does actually use all his spells, so I walk up, auto E, Q, no it's not Tom Kench, I saw him on the map, so I W away, and then I ult him. Auto E and then take my W and then Q him. Just kill him. And I'm thinking I might die, but I want to try and kill Ivone as well. So I WQW Auto E Ignite. What's up guys? If you enjoyed that intro, be sure to like the video. I'm going to go over the games that it's from. First game's against Yone. I take Electrocute because I kind of want to try and go full lethality and just one-shot him. I think it's a decent strategy against Yone in general. And yeah, let's see how it goes. I kind of end up taking a little bit too much poke, so I don't really have HP to trade properly. So I'm just playing defensively right here, trying to get the CS, hoping he will take a tower shot, which he does, so I walk up, and then he hits level 4, so I hit the minion for 4, and then I flash over his Q, I'm like, yeah, I'm so cool, and then I miss the Q, so I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, right here I'm waiting for my Q, so I can W over, and then Q and auto attack, because I know Zyra's coming through, he flashes, but then he flashes away, and then Ivan shows up, and I'm like, oh no, it's okay. Zyra ends up coming back to mid lane. And he's being a bit too aggressive. So I'm like, this is not good. Then he face checks into Ivern and he dies. I'm like, oh my god. That can't be good. <laughs> he only gets a kill there. And then Echo moves up, I think, as well. So I'm just going to wait. Echo's trying to fight him. I should probably ping him back. But then I just ping Yon as he moves, which is too late, obviously. And I can't help because I have, like, just a dark and pretty useless. And there was three people there anyways, so... Yeah, Yon gets two kills from that. As I'm farming the minions here, I awkwardly use my WQ, as he uses E, so I miss, and he misses his spells too. He has no W, so I'm waiting on this just to proc my electrocute, and walk away. Echo's trolling a bit by showing, which is fine. I want to all in Yone, because I know I can line the Qs up on his ult, if he's not too far away from my ult shadow, so I ult him as he goes for the CS. He tries to Q, so I ult, auto E, Q behind me, WW, auto attack, he lives with 1 HP, and the goon squad shows up, and then I just Q plus 400 gold. Yone starts roaming top, so I'm thinking to just push and hit the tower, because I have hubris if I can just get one plating. Although I was considering going top and then I didn't. But then Ivan shows up, and then I walk up melee range, I ult, and then I place the W outside tower range, use Q, and then auto E and all that good stuff. But yeah, easy kill. The key there I think is to look at how I walked into melee range so that when I ult, my shadow is like really close to him and I'm really close to him so the Qs are very likely to hit and I had my W ready to escape the tower range. I end up roaming top because Tom Kench is low so I'm thinking I can kill him. WW, ult, auto, uh, E and then I'm like why is Alistar here? <laughs> I just start trading with him a bit because he's level 5. I'm thinking maybe we can kill this guy. But then Yone starts teleporting, Ivan Qs me. I'm like so sad. I WW, E. Just running, I Q this Alistar, hoping that he'll go on me on the next Ivern Q. Uh, maybe I can kill him, which he does, so I just Q him. <laughs> and right now I E him to try and get my W back, I'm like, yeah, I'm so dead. Hopefully Ivern takes the kill though, which he does, and yeah, we take it. Right here I'm pushing, and I just want to get the plating, so I W backwards, I walk up and I hit the tower. But as I take my W, Alistar shows up, so I have to Q the Yone, just do as much damage as I can, Alt, Alto, E, proc Electrocute. Just trying to force him away as Alistar CCs me. And then I Q him again right there. And Alistar moves away, I think, onto the right side. But as I'm pushing this wave, I want to save my energy and not push too quickly because I want Alistar to go away. And I kind of want to like see him, see the Alistar before I dive this Yone. So I'm just hitting it with autos. I see Alistar bot now, so I'm like, okay, that's fine. Waiting for Yone to use his E, and he just does it, so I just WQW, and he dies to the Qs, because the Qs come up a bit faster with WQW. 
I kind of want to trade against this Yone here because I'm up two levels and I have hubris stacks. So I do a weird WQ. Then he ults me. So I'm like, oh, this is pretty bad. Alistair's here. I managed to get my ult off on Alistair's combo. Q auto E, ignite. Auto the Yone again. He's dead. W's back up, so I W away. Right here, I'm still strong. I want to trade against Yone and fight him. He uses his E, so I full combo him and then I ult him, thinking I could probably kill him. But Alistair shows up, so I don't opt to flash on the own. Just gonna combo him a bit there. Now I'm chilling, waiting for Alistair to go away once again. And as this Yone uses his Q3, I just go in, WQW, auto, get the passive auto, auto E, and then flash auto. They end up coming mid as three to push. And I'm looking at my ult, I'm seeing it's up in six seconds or so. So I use my W, because I'm pretty sure they can't kill me under tower. My ping assistant, because my team is quite close by. Take my W, just clearing a bit more. And then I ult because my ult's up and I W away from the Yasuo Tornado. My team's here now so we kill a couple people. I see Yasuo pushing bot. So I opt to just sit in this bush. Use the bush tactic on him. Hope he overextends. Which he does. I go for the WE ult uh, QW combo because I'm able to get my W in a decent position. And it makes me confident that my Qs will hit. My team starts fighting without me. Um, Zyra gets engaged on which is unfortunate because I'm not there. And I'm just running slowly slowly running down. I'm thinking about who to focus as I enter this fight. It's probably going to be Yone. So I'm just going to hold my spells a bit, wait for Yone to go into a weird position, which he does. He does a little E and then I'm able to WQE onto his E as he's ulting, you know, and get a bunch of damage. He ults in and we kill him. And then I just kill everyone else, as you can see. Right here, I'm being greedy, waiting for someone to face check. But then Yone shows up. I wait for him to use his Q3 and then I WQW and I ult. Well, to E ignite, get everything down. Redemption comes through, but it doesn't matter, he's dead. And as I'm running back, I'm like, this might not be a good idea, because I have to flash. It's like, oh no, I lost flash for this silly kill, but it's okay. My team ends up getting caught again, so I'm just walking up. Yasuo goes deep, so I'm able to just focus him out, even though he ults me. And I'm considering ulting, but then I realize this is a bit dangerous, and I really don't want to die. So I'm just going to poke them a little bit, and let them go. I find Yone here again. I'm just going to wait for his Q3. The same plan, let's go. WQW, Auto E, Profane, and I ult. Same, literally the same thing as the last fight. Um, but this time I end up dying. I'm just like running. I waste W, which is not the best. And then Tom Kench just jumps on me. And I get redemptioned. And I'm like, oh, I probably should have saved W. But I think I would still die even if I dodged their spells. So, whatever, it's worth. My team ends up getting engaged on, but a Yasuo Yone. They're just fighting them. So I'm walking up, I'm thinking, is my team really losing this like 3v2? And then Yone gets CC'd, so I just combo him out. And my team ends up fighting this dragon for no reason, without me again. So I'm pretty tilted, I'm walking up, my whole team's getting destroyed, it's fine. I'm just going to do a weird WQ. I'm like, what the heck, where did Ivone go? Uh, then I ult, I flash, I do a bunch of nonsense, I wait for Yone to get on his thing again, and then he died to Vayne anyways. And my whole team's dead, so I just go bot to take the tower. I realize they're gonna get Baron, so I'm like, oh, this is kind of kind of interesting. We have a game on our hands still. It's not over until it's over. So I just take this tower instead. It's definitely good to not contest Baron here. Otherwise I'll just die and I won't be able to get like all of this gold right here. Like I got like two waves, one cannon wave, one normal wave, and the tier two tower. It's a good like a thousand gold. So yeah. And Krugs. Let's go. Yasuo ends up overextending. He's pushing top really boldly. I know Alistar isn't here, so I just go in. WQ, W, Alt, Auto E, Profane, Auto E again, and he's dead because I'm quite fed. I'm taking top tower right now, and Yone uses teleport. I ping because I know it's not Tom Kench. I saw him on the map. So I W away, and then I ult him. Auto E, and then take my W, and then Q him. Just kill him. And I'm thinking I might die. But I want to try and kill Ivone as well. So I WQW auto E ignite, kill him real fast with all the shadows. But I die, unfortunately. But at least Adastar gets the kill and my team's going to win this fight. Bam, bam, bam. There you go. Yone is trolling, just pushing by himself. So I WQW, alt E profane, auto, and he's dead. Passive auto, so much damage. I push top and I'm thinking about going to try and fight. But I want to take it slow. My team's winning. I see Yone, so I go in on him, WQW. Alt auto E, he dies, but then Yasuo flashes on me and I don't react with flash. But as he ults me, I want to flash over him because I know he's going to Q straight onto me. Which I do manage to dodge his Q and kill him with all the Qs and everything. Um, 
Yeah, it was pretty fast, but lucky me. And they surrender the game. So yeah, thanks for watching this game. I'll see you in the next one. Thumbs up the video if you're enjoying it. Hey guys, I play against Echo in this one. I take Electrocute because they also have some squishies in Kane in the jungle and Ash Sona in bot lane. So I'm thinking I'll just go full damage and just blast everyone. Let's see how it goes though. I managed to get some decent poke on Echo and he's being really greedy with his potions. So as I hit level 3 here, I'm just going to walk up and hope he goes on me a little bit. As he does, he uses E and W, whatever. I W backwards on his E2, that's a good combo you can do as Z. And use your Qs and E on where he will land. And then I wait out his W shield and dodged his Q. As I'm walking up here, I'm hoping he turns around, which he does. Passive auto into Q auto E onto his E2 to kill him, first blood. And then I see some funny business in top lane. Uh, Kane and Kaysante are like really greedy. I managed to get a W Q onto that guy. I'm pretty sure Kaysante is in the first push, which he is. E auto, Q. An easy little double kill. I have level advantage, so I kind of want to poke this Echo as I'm level 6 while he's level 5. So I just W E, I missed the Q, but it's fine. I walk back in hoping he E's me so I can get a bit more damage. Hit a Q here. I haven't blocked Electrocute, which is really key and important because now it means I don't really need uh, much to kill him except Ignite. I don't need to hit my Qs. So I'm just waiting for my Ignite to come up. And then he, when he walks up here again, WW, Alt, Auto E Ignite, Miss the Q, it's fine. Flash Auto. <laughs> and yeah, it's just that easy. My bot lane's fighting, and I'm pretty sure Kane is in the bush because I think we saw him. But I'm just walking down, hoping I can pick up a couple kills. W E, W, Auto, and the Ash flashes, so I can just Q on that. Hit the Qs to kill her, and then right here, just altering the Kane, and he dies. Instead of basing, I walk back to mid lane with Karma, thinking we can probably kill this guy. He uses W, but it's fine. W E, W, and then Q and Auto before his W even lands. Right here, I'm pushing mid. I'm thinking I can maybe kill this Echo if he wastes his spells, but I'm just going to go for the plating. Place W backwards. He does actually use all his spells. So I walk up, Auto E, Q, Tiamat, and then Auto again, take my W to kill him before his W even lands again. Right here, as Echo's pushing, I'm thinking I actually want both the wave and him, so I W, Q the wave, use Tiamat, and then I ult the Echo. <laughs> Uh, ult, auto E, ignite, all that good stuff. He ults and I take my ult shadow to follow. Use Q. And here's another echo kill for good measure. I find the wraiths first, so I want to take both of them. Both the wraiths and echo, so I do exactly that. Jump over, ult him. People come by as well. And there we go. As I was top, my team gets engaged on a bit. They overextend and they get chased down. I'm thinking I can flash on them. I kind of want to kill everyone looking cool, so I do WQW, flash, auto E, profane. And this Sona actually lived with 1 HP, so I was like, what the heck? But it's fine. Bobby's gonna greed for him. I don't think he gets him though. <laughs> and, uh, and he dies. I W over. Auto E profane. And then I ult auto to kill him with my thingy. Ignite the Sona and then realize that I'm not killing this Sona. But yeah, <laughs> it works. Right here, I'm pushing mid. I know Ash doesn't have ult, so I'm just waiting for a chance to go on him. I know I can kill her with Alt Auto E Profane because she's quite squishy and I have Electrocute. So I do that, WW Alt Auto E Profane, I take some tower shots, I see Kane, I'm like oh no. But then I Q Auto E with my shadow right there and uh, yeah, easy peasy. It was like my first shadow, it was still there. There you go Kane. And after that we're just sieging to end the game. I'm thinking it's pretty over so I'm just farming up. I'm trying to keep my KDA though so I'm not walking up. Just waiting patiently, letting my team end. And then people respawn. Kane comes out of nowhere, he flashes on me and he ults me. I'm like, what the heck was that? Am I dead? <laughs> but then I'm alive. I'm like, please, no, I don't want to die. Please, please, please. Ash uses W, so I run the other way. I start pinging assistance. <laughs> but then I W, I'm like, phew, I'm fine. And then Evelyn goes for the end, which he gets. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next game. Hey guys, this game is against Katarina. I take Electrocute again because they're pretty squishy. They got um, Katarina... Milio, Twitch, Kindred, these kind of squishy champs. So yeah, we're going full damage as per usual. Let's see how it goes. I end up pushing the first two waves and then I'm thinking about invading just to see how it goes because I know that enemy mid laners usually do that to my jungler and you know, they kill my jungler. So I just went to see, uh, you know, see what it's all about. And then I get beat down and I'm like, okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> um, whoopsie. But yeah, here's a quick blooper, I guess. Go and kill me. Actually, the worst thing is Katarina takes the kill at the end. Yeah. But it's fine. We're going to buy boots and we're going to go back. We teleport.
can win. Right here, I roam bot because mid is kind of a bit annoying to play. Uh, so I just want this free kill to make things easier. Stop pinging them to push. And yeah, I just want this kill, waiting patiently. He walks into me, so I get a nice 300 gold. I see my top jungle was fighting top, so I roam as well. Walking up. Hello, Garen. WW Auto E, so skilled, that was easy. And right here is another blooper. So Kindred comes to cover mid. He uses his Q, so I just ult him to see what happens. But he has flash. So I WQ, he flashes my Qs and kills me. Sad. We managed to randomly find Kindred on our wolves. So we all move down to collapse on him. He's level 6, so he's going to ult, but it's fine. I'm just going to hold my spells a bit. Wait patiently, I'm like, please, can I get the kill? And of course not. I'm just basing right here. And then Katwina jumps on me and ults straight away with the Melio thingy. So I'm like, oh, Melio's mid. And I'm half HP, so I might as well base. I have a pretty good buy with Brutalizer. And I have teleport, so if he greeds on this, I'm going to try and kill him with Zillion, hopefully. I teleport, and then I'm thinking maybe Melio's still here. So I hesitate a little bit. I take the CS. And then I'm like, mm, I guess I'll go anyways. YOLO. He misses the stun, but it's fine. WEQ. Walk away and then take my W and ult. Auto E and Q. Kindred jumps in to try and ult him in time, but he fails. <laughs> and then he's just tilted, so he's running at us. And luckily Zillion hits the, the stun. I almost die. Like, what the heck? Kindred's OP. I'm pretty low HP right now. I was thinking to base, but my team's around. So I kind of want to just fight. I'm like, yeah, let's just do it. I'm waiting for Zillion to run up and slow this twitch. There we go. We got him. So I'm being really patient. W, E, Q, he gets stunned. And then I take my W when I think I won't die. And yeah, Zach jumps in. We kill some other people too. Wonderful. Katarina's a bit overextended bot. So I just jump on him, W, W, ult, hoping that he ease after my ult. Which he does, so I followed him with ult. And he dies. I managed to find Katarina pushing bot again by himself. So I'm going down. I have hubris uh, activated. I have one level lead. I'm not too scared. We just go in WW, E, auto, and I just ult. Auto E, Q, he dodges my Q and he ults, which is fine. But he has Zonias, so I just wait. I have W again. Just go in with W, E, W, auto, auto. It's that simple. I'm just basing right here in bot lane after taking tower. And I see Gangplank doing funny business. I have teleport, so I kind of want to TP, but I have to use the minion, which is kind of far. I TP in. He kills a kindred, which is great. I WW ult onto Twitch. And then he flashes and he queues. So I flash. I'm like, wait, is he going to get away? And then he turns around and hits me back. So yeah, nice little kill. We're looking to siege this top tower a bit. Zach does a weird jump, which allows Twitch to just get a really good ult. Since no one can uh, really attack him. So it's like kind of annoying. We're running away. Yada, yada, yada. I W over. Katarina starts overextending a bit. So I move over. He jumps away and I'm thinking I could base or I could be greedy and just stand in this bush and hope he walks up as I recall and I see him so I just go on him WQW auto E profane he uses ult and his W and I realized that I almost died because I jumped onto his like dagger but it's fine my zillion ends up overextending by himself a bit he dies to the red buff quite sad but people are TPing in so I'm walking up running up slowly Kindred flashes, I get the kill there. I ult the Milio, I think I take this one too. Lovely, lovely. I see that little Twitch thing, pink ward. That was a waste of a pink ward, but it's fine. We end up going for Baron after that, which is great. I ping the Gangplank to teleport because Garen is moving up and I'm pretty scared. Zillion is also not here. He teleports through though, so yeah, no fight really happens. Nice little free Baron. Let's watch it die together. Lovely. As I'm pushing top, I face check into a kindred that I really didn't expect to be there. So I walk in. I'm like, what the hell? I'm up four levels. I ult him. Use all that. And then I wait because he is ult. Use E and Q and realize my ult shadow ran out. So I profaned air. And then I just WQW and he's dead. Right here, I'm just taking the tower. I'm being quite greedy. Katwina flashes on me. So I panic flash away as well. And I'm walking to bait him onto his dagger. I ult. And Twitch shows up, so I W away and I Q the Katarina, he uses Zonias. I jump back onto the Twitch who's on my shadows and one shot him, even though I'm 1 HP. Alright, they have just running away from everyone. And I'm like, what the hell, Garen, please don't kill me. And then I'm recalling. 
I'm pinging on my way because I have teleport and I saw that Zack has passive after I, after I use left click and looked in the top left. Teleport onto him so he survives. Go on this guy, WW. Uh, missed Profane but it's fine, we ult Katarina. And then I missed the Qs on Milio which is really sad because then he gets away. But we take it. As we're sieging top, I kind of want to just go in and fight because I have the Zillion ult for me. I'm letting him hit me, thinking he can kill me. WQW, Ulto, E, Profane, got Zillion ulted, killed the Kindred. Ult the Milio, and then I realized, ah, they have a Twitch. That's pretty bad. So I die, but I kill Milio, and I combo Twitch a bit to do some damage. And after that, since everyone on the enemy team is dead except Twitch, my team ends the game without me. So yeah. Thanks for watching this game and video, guys. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Interstellar.